the human race, a sentient species. We dream and we ponder. This is a gift from our maker who uttered us into existence, but left the end of our being untold. That uncertainty torments us. And how could it be otherwise? For without knowing the end, how are we to make sense of the beginning and all those moments in between our lives? So we dream and we ponder in pseudo-enlightened and spiteful reflections of our maker. We drown in desperation, hoping by chance to uncover this grand finale. Only then will we be able to weave the fragmented moments of our existence together. comprehend the apparent maddening reason why we were born. I'm waiting. Well, welcome guys, and welcome to another entry from the vault. So today we have Fear Effect 2 Retro Helix. Released for the PlayStation 1 in 2001, developed by Kronos Digital Entertainment and published by Eidos. So this is a prequel to Fear Effect 1. It continues to use cell shading for its graphics and FMVs, and FMVs for its environmental backgrounds. You have the same playable characters as before, Han, Hannah, Deke, and Glass, and also a fourth character named Rain now. I think you can switch between tank controls and more standard ones this time as well. You'll be able to find and use a variety of firearms, and each character has their own unique melee weapon. I believe this game tries to focus more on puzzles than on combat, but it can be easy to, to die when there are enemies around. So this game is set in Hong Kong in 2048, two years prior to when Fear Effect 1 takes place. This game delves into the backgrounds of the original band of mercenaries and the circumstances that brought them together. In the wake of a degenerative global pandemic called, I think it's called ENDS? It's, it's spelled E-I-N-D-S. I'm pretty sure it's pronounced ENDS though. It stands for Environmentally Induced Nucleotides Degeneration Syn Syndrome. Theft, murder, and terrorism have become big business. Yeah. Good stuff. Okay, so the controls look pretty similar to the original. Oh, there's a part going. I haven't unlocked anything though. Anyway, let's start a new game. Jeez, dude. Hmm. 
Oh, that's great. Mixing drugs with booze. This guy's playing Russian Roulette. Whoa. Hello. Whoa. Look at them According polygons. Intelligence, the exchange will take place tomorrow. Once you obtain the intact marker and safely deliver it to us, you'll find the remainder of your fee waiting. More importantly, with the marker in our possession, my team will at last be able to fix your condition permanently. A psychotic dying of ends, a drunk and a whore. Interesting choice. Keep this short, Hannah. This is called is on prime time rates. I'll email you the extra dollar, Jen. I've got the case. Mm, where's Lung? Swimming. Okay, okay. Drop it off at the usual place and I'll wire you your share. Now say thank you, Mr. G. I'll only say that at your funeral. Hannah, oh, that hurts. Guess you don't want to hear about the Wing Chun gig. What are you yakking about now? 25 mil payday, sweetheart. Maybe enough to buy back your tired contract, huh? <laughs> Keep your stinking abacus out of my life, Jen. Then consider it investment advice. You're gonna need to bring a tech head with you on this one. I'll fill you in on the final details later. Oh. So, was it worth dying for? Yep, he's dead. Uh, we've got an unforeseen complication, Hama. Now listen carefully, I'm only going over this once. Trust me, Jen. The less I talk to you, the better. Bet you're not such a cold fish with brain. Okay, okay, forget it. Back to business. Tonight is the annual Christmas formal at the Wing Chun campus. I thought it would be more fun if you to crash the party. There are four sets of DNA sequences scattered in different labs on the 86th floor of the South Tower. You'll be stealing them. Check the package. You'll find two flash disks and two very expensive forged invitation bracelets that'll get you girls into the shindig. The first disc contains a genetic sequence that's missing the four sets of links that you'll be taking from Wing Chun. The other disc is a hunter program encoded to seek out the surveillance system access codes for the 80th and 86th floor. You'll need to go to the 80th floor to bypass the security system on the 86th floor. The only way to have free access on the 80th floor is to create a loop in the surveillance video at the central security hub in their basement. Rain will need to take care of the elevator access there as well. The key card that will get Rain into Wing Chun's basement is inside the package I hid in the sculpture garden. What's the unforeseen complication? The only way into the garden undetected is through the underground aqueduct system. Shit! Not the aqueducts! It bypasses all their electronic checkpoints! Find the district utility maintenance hub in the aqueduct and have rain hack for the access codes. That's why you told us to come in by sea. So what else didn't you get me? Just a hair and some fingerprints. You'll need to charm those off the Dr. Liu at the party. He should be easy to spot to just look for the richest man in the planet. I know what he looks like, Jin. After his claims of discovering the gene that causes ends, everybody does. I think he's for Kaudu, but what do I know? You need his fingerprints to gain access to the high security levels via the elevator. Then use his hair and prints to issue a genetic keycard from the security analyst lab on the 86th floor. Anything else? There's a package for you in the east elevator shaft. Usual goodies. Hey, just enjoy the party. So, what's the exit plan? Exit plan? <laughs> you don't get an exit plan for 15%. But how's this? Try going out the front door. <laughs> fine, fine. You never make things easy, do you? Uh-oh. Let me guess. 
Jin made last minute changes to the plan, right? Yes and no. Here's the deal. Jin says. That seems like an awful lot to remember. Fire in the hole. This is it. Testing. Testing. Hear me okay, Hannah? Loud and clear. Alright. I'm going to look for the district maintenance hub and download the codes for the 80th and 86th floor. See if you can locate the exit hatch. Last one out of the aqueduct buys the champagne. Deal. I'll even give you a head start. So right from the get-go, I can tell, like, the, uh, the facial animations are, like, a big improvement from the previous game. They look really good. Oh, it all right, so if save beacon activated, it shows you where you can save. So that's pretty handy. Yeah, backgrounds look pretty cool. What do we have here? Oh, I've got blasting caps. A shotgun, assault rifle, an Uzi. Huh. Do not have start with a knife this time, though. Interestingly enough. So that's the new playable character, Rain. Maybe I should equip a weapon. Just in case. What's up? You mean besides my blood pressure? We've got a blackout in the next sector and the lock mechanism circuit is fried. Just blast through then. Great idea. Was the 40 pounds of C4 packed in your backpack or mine? Real funny, smartass. Now what? I'll try to bypass the circuit. There's gotta be a generator somewhere. See if you can find it and bring it back online. Done. Don't go anywhere. Okay, so we need to find a generator. So we could go that way. That looks like where we came from. Look at that little hip sway she's got going on. So we could go that way. Could go that way. Oh. Well, uh, it looks like we're not swimming, so I guess we're not going that way. God, these backgrounds are like really good. Nope. Nope. Okay. What do we have in here? But yeah, just like the first game, they use FMVs, full motion videos, for all of their backgrounds. So they look amazing, but as a result, they take up a lot of space. So because of that, it, th this game also has four discs. Uh -uh. W what am I even looking at? I don't think so. I, I, I kind of wish I knew what I was looking at. Well, at any rate, let's go this way. Robots. Uh oh. All right. Threat defeated. What's over here? An EMP. Interesting.
rats. Holy shit! That is an army of rats! Metal hook. Oops. Well, I'll take it. That robot didn't stand a chance. What's this over here? It doesn't look like there's anything else around here. Yeah, that army of rats is a little concerning. Considering it just ripped, they ripped a robot to shreds. I don't think so. You don't think so? Uh uh. Uh. Let's see. What do I got? I don't think so. I don't think so. think so. Hmm. This might be a, a, a weapon to use on those robots to disable them. Not sure, though. So it takes a little bit of charging up. Okay. Ah, so that's what it wanted me to do. Alright, so that got me a key card. Yeah. Still, a little bit concerning that we're going down. Like it when you're bossy. Oh, get a room, you two. Well, that got the generator going. If, uh, if I had had the EMP ready, if uh, I could have used an EMP blast on them to, like, instantly stun them or something. But I didn't know they were coming. Oh! What the hell? Darn it. These things are so ancient. I'm surprised it worked the first time. Go flip the switch again. I'll wait. Great. Like, I need the exercise. Really? You're gonna make us go all the way back? Assault rifle, but just in case. Ah, ah, oh, I'm dead.
Okay, so the EMP, EMP worked pretty good. Oh jeez. Figures. And there goes the ladder. Shit. Damn thing just blew up in my face. Are you alright? Uh, my ears are ringing like a church bell, but I'm fine. Can't say the same for the room, though. The exit's jacked. I'm taking the section across from here. No choice. I think you should stay put. I'll move ahead and get the codes from the district hub. Then I'll see if I can get to you somehow. Just be careful. Who knows what else is going to blow up. Oh, great. And she's being watched. Oh, I see. This looks fun. Not bad. go on that. Okay, so I think that'll be a good enough showcase of the game. Um, it definitely seems like it's harder than the first game, but like I said, it does, it does seem like there's more of an emphasis on puzzles, but when enemies do show up, if you're not careful, they'll just rip you a new one. I, I She probably had more weapons. I probably should have looked around first, but I didn't think there'd be enemies in the second room with her. But, um... Yeah, it still seems like a neat game, but you it, it, it feels like one of those games where if you don't know like what you're doing ahead of time, you're probably not going to have as much of a fun time like most survival horror games. But yeah, it's neat. <laughs>